guys, welcome or welcome back to our channel. Today we will be showing you things you should get for your parents and things that you need for your parents. So um, first we're going to start with things that you should get for your parents. So hammocks. Parents love hammocks. Our parents are in here pretty much all the time, unless if you're playing with them. They love their hammocks, right guys? And they just sleep so cute in it. We have such good photos of them in there. And um, then on to the next thing you should get for your parents. You should get them this bed or something like it. This is a dog bed for Dollar General. Um, you may not have Dollar General where you live. I know in America you have like Dollar General and stuff. Um, but they love it. Melvin's in here quite for a lot of his time. Um, but they they should like it for your ferret. Um, I really does too, but not as much as Melvin. Like Melvin, he really likes that bed. Um, he's in there a lot of his time too. Another thing you should get them is special ferret balls. So these ones work. Um, if your ferrets, they can't get them out. They sometimes do still, but a lot of ferrets dig their water. So you need to get special bowls if they do do that. Um, which just has a tiny hole that, like, just their mouth can fit into so that they can't dig it and water goes everywhere. So, another thing that you should get for your ferrets is tubes. I've never met a ferret owner that doesn't say, that says that their ferret doesn't like tubes. Because, just like every ferret does, pretty much. I made a video on how to make homemade tubes. Um, another thing I'm going to recommend you getting them is a little house. Um, this is a house from the dollar store yet again. Um, and Melvin seems to like going inside of it and playing. So another thing that you should get your fur is ping pong balls. Um, I mentioned in my other videos that they like holding on to ping pong balls and um, you throw it in the tube and they like go chase it and stuff. And then I just want to add one other thing for things you should get your ferrets that they would like. A stuffy. Now, don't get a stuffy with plastic parts like eyes or noses. Um, some ferrets can't have ears or nose, um, ears or tails because they might rip it off, but they like dragging it in. Know your ferret when you get it, but our ferrets don't really eat the plastic part. They eat it sort of until they do destroy stuffies, so don't give them something that you love. So, one other thing, get them a blanket. They like just going underneath it and stuff. Now for things that you need for your ferrets. So, puppy pads. Here's our litter setup. So they have the litter box, which is another thing you need for your ferrets. Litter box. Um, I would totally recommend litter training your ferret. And then we put a puppy pad down for in case if they don't quite make it in. Um, so, those are two really big things that you need for your ferrets. Of course, cage. Um, I wasn't sure if I needed to say that, but get your ferret a good tall cage. Um, make sure that it fits a ferret. So if your ferret takes up, um, I'd say around like, it can't be like a fourth of the cage, is what I'm trying to say. Like, if they take up this little of the cage, but then they have all of this. Like, this is taller than a human. So get your ferret a nice good cage because they're going to be in there for a lot of their time. We also have a playpen, so for around two hours a day, they can go in there. But still, that's 22 hours in their cage, sometimes more if we're going out. So get your ferrets a nice, good cage. Um, this is the Ferret Nation cage. Um, I talked about it in the video about our cage and linked it and stuff. So I would recommend getting that sort of thing. Um, now, in the next video, we're also going to make ones for things that you can't get your ferrets, like things that are really bad. But also, get your ferrets some treats. Now, this ferret diet is really hard to figure out. So, I'm just going to show you some things for ferrets that you can get them. So, we have little bins down here full of all the treats for them. Cat treats are really good. Um... So there's these sort of things. These ones are okay. They're not too good. Um, in my other video, I talked about that. These treats are really good. Temptation. So one way, um, just to see 
so if you look here, the protein minimum for a ferret needs to be 30, and this is 30. So that's how you know it's good. These are awesome. Pure Bites treats are the best. They're always freeze-dried stuff. And then um, protein minimum is 70. So 70% when you need 30%, that is awesome. And it's always like freeze-dried fish and stuff. So this is minnow. They also like the shrimp and salmon. So those are awesome. These ones are pretty good. They take a fair a long time to eat. I'm just trying to show you the price. So um, they are hard. The problem with these are is they don't say how much protein's in them. Um, the word says there. Uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff in a million different languages, but it really just says like it's chicken and it's good stuff. Like feed your ferrets. It's tasty, healthy. That's pretty much it. So it's it's hard to say if it's good. Um, but they can eat it. They're quite big though. That's the one thing about them. So it does take them a long time to eat. Anyways, um, another thing you're going to want for your friends is like dog poop bags just to put all their litter in after. They go through a lot of litter. So that goes on to the next thing I was going to say where cat litter some can be poisonous so stick away from that we use this stuff and it's the stuff that they use for horses so they throw it in the stall and then use that it's like six dollars for this huge bag that's it's really big it would last you a long time um another thing are these greenies treats they seem to really like those and um cat food we use this brand. It's four dollars a dollar or more for this big bag. Just so you can see the size difference. Um, so it's really good. They really seem to like it, and we've just been feeding them this. And so, whiskers we would recommend getting. Um, see the protein minimum. It's usually at the top. So this one's thirty-two. It's usually the first thing. Always check for ferret stuff. So I'm also going to be making a video on all the ferret diet and just making sure that everyone understands that because it's very hard to understand. So hopefully this video helped you and we will see you next time.